So today I shot my first ever Impossible Project film. I'm pretty excited about one of the results. I only shot two films because the daylight it was going down. So I wanted to just get two shots before the sun went down, test it out. As soon as they came out of the Polaroid, I put them in here. One turned out really good, and I'll explain the setting. And then the other one didn't turn out good at all because I questioned myself and it hadn't fully developed and it was still a little bit dark and so I was like, I need to make it lighter. I have to say that the PX shade, it works. It literally, the film comes out and it stays under here and you just take it, put it, I put it into this and then I put it under like a, a jacket or something to, so to where it'll still be warm but it'll also be shaded from light. So for the first shot, I had the black wheel turned almost all the way, about two thirds of the way like everybody says, and the shot turned out like this. Now I actually like this shot, I think it turned out pretty well, considering that it was kind of dark outside and it was my first ever shot. I do like how it turned out. But I questioned myself and I thought, well maybe it's too dark. So I took and I changed the exposure setting over to light, and I did it almost all the way. I don't know why, but I'm still a bit confused about how the, the exposure setting works. That shot turned out like this. Definitely, definitely overexposed. Based off the shots I got today, I really like the setting when it's sort of towards the darker. I guess I'll just have to experiment and try. Considering the Impossible Project film costs so much, that's not always a good option. I ordered five packs of film, so I'm hoping to be able to get some good shots with the first pack and then pretty much know how to shoot for the rest of them. Overall, I'm loving this camera. Boom Vintage did a great job sourcing this camera and they tested it and everything. It's just a great place, a reliable place to buy. I really like it. I did the tip. Impossible Project recommends that you put a little bit of pressure on both these sides. Um, like this, when you shoot, you just push in a little bit and it puts pressure on the roller so that there's no like unexposed area at the top. You've seen the brown on the Polaroids that doesn't develop. And I didn't have a problem with that. So I'm hoping that this little camera continues just to do a great job. But I'm pretty happy with how this turned out. Hopefully, obviously it's not the perfect exposure, but I think I'm getting there.